Okay, this is going to be a tutorial in Packet Tracer for the Cisco CCNA. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a DHCP relay. We're going to use the IP helper address so that this router in the center can relay DHCP requests or DHCP broadcasts from one network to another network where there's a DHCP server available. So first of all, what we're going to do, the router is configured with IP addresses on this network and on this network on this interface at FA00 and this interface at FA01. This network is the 192.168.2.0 network and this network over here is the 192.168.1.0 network and the router is host 1, 1 1.1 and host 1 over here at 2.1. So what we need to do is we need to configure we need to configure the server. So we'll set up the server and for the server we're going to need an IP address We're going to give him the address 2.254, and we need to put his gateway in. All right. Okay, so now the server here is 2.254, and his gateway is 2.1, which is the router. All right. And what we're also going to do is we're going to need to configure DHCP. So we're going to go to config, and we're going to go to DHCP and we can see that the server, the server right here, has DHCP server and it's on and we just need to configure it. So we're going to set the starting address to be for DHCP that it's going to hand out at 2.100 and maximum number of users we'll say is 50 okay and the default gateway will set it and We'll set the DNS server address and we won't give it a TFTP address and what we'll do is we'll say save. So now these settings have been taken in down here into the um, DHCP pool that the DHCP server has and so right now this server here is serving IP addresses on the two network. So if we were to go to this client that's hooked to the same switch as the server and is also on this network so we'll go to this client and we'll go to IP configuration and we'll set to DHCP and it'll start broadcasting and you can see that it picks up an address and sure enough it picked up the 192.168.2.100 address alright so the DHCP server has at least an address to this client on the network so that's great right here right but on the other network over here on the one network if we take this client and we say let's pick up a DHCP address you can see he's requesting it's broadcasting it but we're not picking up an IP address now why is that well the reason why we're not picking up an IP address is that these are two different networks or two broadcast domains so this client is broadcasting a DHCP request requesting an IP address and the router right here is um, blocking it or segmenting that and blocking those broadcasts from reaching the DHCP server on the other side. So in this scenario, the DHCP server is over here on a separate network. The DHCP server is not the router, and so these requests are not passing the router. So what we can do is we can set the router up with an IP helper address, which will allow it to relay DHCP broadcasts to reach the server. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that IP helper address on the interface where it's going to be requested from so it's going to go on this interface FA 0 slash 0 and these are the commands so let's do it so we'll type enable and conf t and interface FA 0 slash 0 and we'll say IP helper tab address and then we'll give it the address of the DHCP server all right at 2.254 great end so now the router will relay DHCP requests from this client over here over to the server here but there's one more problem this client needs an IP address on the one network 
it doesn't need an IP address on the 2 network where the DHCP server is. So what we need to do is go back into our server, go to the DHCP server settings that we have here, and we need to create a new pool. So we'll make create, we'll call it server pool 2, and we'll say, we'll configure it for the one network. So we'll say the gateway on that side will be 1.1, the DNS server will be 1.1 for that network, and the starting address we'll say is 1.100, and maximum users, and we'll click add. And so now there is this new pool that this, DN this, this DHCP server can hand out. So now if we go over here to the client, you can see if we go to IP configuration, it's picked up the right address. We'll test it out again. We'll go back to static. And then we'll go to DHCP. And you can see it picked up another address from the server on the one network. So it was successful. So the router is now relaying DHCP broadcast requests from this client here over to the DHCP server here. And the DHCP server has been configured to hand out addresses for the one network. So it does. And that's it.